Couldn't he throw something a little softer? On another Was adventure, it two are we? Of Angelica or three? I really have made a mess of things. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. But where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did our meat tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Levioso! Defendo! Incendio. That was nothing. You should see the charm I've been working.
I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Akio! Got it. Only four more to go. Akio! This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Revelio. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. I wouldn't do that to you, Cressida. Only trying to teach you to be a little more careful. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Oh! Ah! Oh! 
know why you don't just get a nip. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition. And cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the farthest pen? This way. The Neasles are over here. Oh, a couple of Neasle whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honeyjukes. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid thing. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Ugh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. The knees 
Rose was really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. I need to talk to you. Come here. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody.
So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back, got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep High Wing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope.
Leviosa. Incendio. Revelio. What do we have here? A demigod. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide.
Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Could you remind me how the Dedalian keys work again? When you spot or hear a flying key, you're to follow it back to its cabinet. Inserting it in the lock is the tricky part. I hope you follow some. If you open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Are you all right? Look like you see the gun. Let me also. Revelio. 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 Rebellion. Alohomora.
Revelio. Incendio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. <laughs> you and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own brews. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant, thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find.
Revelio. Depulsa. Accio. Leviosa. Revelio. Revelio. Incendio. Confringo. Capulso. Accio. Off on another adventure, are we? Levioso. Capulso. Alohomora.
What do we have here? A demigod. What do we have here? A demigod. Bring them. Revelio. Lumos.
our breath. It has been our pleasure. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. You are too kind. We thank you. Please. This looks like the right statue. What was the password? Descendium. Goodness, who knew this was all down here? Lumos. A lift must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Repair all. I need to fix the lift. That seems to have done the trick. Revelio. Revelio.
This castle will never cease to surprise me. I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? Let me answer. Rebellion. Let me answer. I'm going to have to get past this. <laughs> Repair it.
Levioso. One more to go and I'll make it across. Levioso. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Glaciers. Repair. Levioso. Depulsa. This must be the way out. I need to find a way to open that gate. Confringo! Something smells sweet. Must be close to Honeydukes. Hogsmeade, here I come. Revenue. Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Have the dried billywigs things. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out.
Hello again. Were you able to get to Honeydukes? Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Excellent. Let me also. like a stone going for a swim goodness no though i'm beginning to think i really should learn how to swim can't very well be liaison to the mer people if i don't know how to swim you're a liaison to the mer people well not technically no at least not yet the position doesn't actually exist at the moment but i have a plan to change that i'm nerida by the way Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we jeweled in the Crossed Wands Club. Yes, of course. Good to see you again. And you. You seem quite interested in mer people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the ministry, then the mer people should have one too. I'm impressed. I think reaching out to the Mer people is a grand idea. You do? Oh, thank you. Of course, I haven't exactly done anything just yet. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. How has wizard kind fallen short in its treatment of mer people? Well, we've consistently deigned mer people as being beneath us despite the many similarities between our cultures. One can hardly blame them for declining being status by the ministry years ago. Who are we to classify those of such beauty and intelligence? What do you imagine a liaison to the mer people would do? Oh, so many things. I want to know everything I can about them. After I've mastered swimming, I perfect my mermish, of course, and I'd share with them anything they wanted to know about wizard kind. My hope is that by understanding each other better, both of our societies could grow. What is it about the mer people that interests you so much? <gasps> I can't begin to tell you how brilliant they are. I mean, rumour is that tales about them have infiltrated even the muggle world. The oldest known mer people, Sirens, come from Greece. And of course, Scotland has Selkies and Ireland is home to Merrows. I could go on for ages about them. Their glorious underwater communities, domestication of sea life, their art and music. It's a travesty how little is understood about them. 
Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. The last thing I want is for them to think I shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. I can't wait to hear about what you find. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know it. Ugh. Look at this place. Did the Mer people really leave Nurida an artifact? Confringo! Luma. Now then, I'll need you to come with me. Now for the rest of you. Lumos. What do we have in here then? Narada will be happy about this. Revelio. Your gift from the Mer people was exactly where they said it would be. Oh, that's wonderful news! I was so worried I'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight. Our relationship with them is already so tenuous. And I'm glad we helped to foster some healthy diplomatic relations. Merlin's beard. It's marvelous. I'm going to show it to everyone, including the Ministry. Should I hand deliver it or send by owl? Thank you again so much. You may have just helped improve relations between wizard kind and mer people for decades to come. I can't wait to study this.
Rebellion. Confringo! Revelio! Acceptable! Acceptable? In transfiguration? No child of mine should receive less than outstanding! What are you even doing in that class? Or is it that sniveling teacher of yours? Oh, you can be sure I'll be having words with that so-called school. You will receive an outstanding one way or another. What are you up to now? I've been sent Rebellion. To Octavius Pratt gets hung pride of place, and here's me in a stink. I should demand a rehanging. Revelio. Lumos. Wrong. It's just, well, there's a rather foul odor. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. If you could just tread carefully. That's all I ask. Please do be mindful where you walk, won't you? Only if you... Revelio.
does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Revelio. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have your Lumos. Lumos. Yourself, though, let's have you leave here alive. <laughs> Rebellion. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Someone died here? Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? But your things will be safe with me until they're sold. Then you'll have to make do with money. Always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Oh, 
door's always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Rebellion. We can't figure out why there's such a fuss over poaching. There's enough dumb beasts for everyone. Yes. <laughs> 
Seems a pleasant enough little place. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolph Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolph. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Why would Bardolph want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think Bardolph may have simply run off? No. Bardolph's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolph was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Groundrock's loyalists are a menace. What can be done? I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolph dared to stand up to them and ended up in St Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Bardolph end up in St Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolph had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolph refused. In their anger, they held him against a rock and robbed him. The moment he left St Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hawksfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. He's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury, or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Madame Beaumont, might I speak with you? Yes, what about? Mrs. Sprottle told me a little about your brother's disappearance. Oh, dear Dorothy. She'd go looking for Bardolph herself if she could. She mentioned dark magic in even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolph's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. But then one day, 
He didn't come home. Could Bardolf have run off? No, he'd never leave me here alone. He did speak of going to talk with Victor Rookwood. That worries me almost more than his attempts at mastering dark magic. Rookwood is as dangerous as Ranrock, in my opinion. Is there anything your brother took with him that might help to track him down? Hmm, only his satchel, journal, and a woolen jumper I knitted for him. That's all I can recall. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything about him. Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. What do you have for sale? Bardolf, where are you? I'll not give up hope. Marvellous. I could always use more of these. Thank you for passing through. I remember you. Your generosity helped me afford this now rather exotic snake. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Hello, Hamora. What do we have here? A demigod. Revelio. Alohomora. A galleon? One less human to worry about.
of Ranrock's camps, exactly as Madame Beaumont described. Most goblins in my family weren't in the mines at one time or other. Wizards are running scared, <laughs> as they should be. Wizards are running scared, <laughs> as they should be. Oh, this day has gone on too long. Grapple on you are. Wizards are running scared, <laughs> as they should be. Oh. How nice of you to stop by. You will regret coming here. Such arrogance. Bring me a dozen humans to battle. I'll take them all. Run the other way when they see me, humans do. Every time. Suit me sitting around all day. Mind you, I suppose it could get a bit boring. You've one less follower, Ranrock. One camp down, one more to go. Rebellion. What are you up to now? What seems to be the problem? You may well ask. I'm convinced I saw a Grim, an omen of death. I'm not safe, but if it can't see me, I'll be all right, won't I? All I need is an invisibility potion. Yes, that's what I need. I'm afraid I'm all out of invisibility potion. I suggest finding somewhere safe and being especially careful. Safe? Careful? Uh, yes, that makes sense. And you're sure you don't... No. Very well. Hopefully the Grim, or whatever it has foretold, doesn't get me first. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now. For someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, 
I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. What do you have for sale? See if there's something you need. Thank you for your patronage. It's been a pleasure. A castle must have been quite steep. One less human to worry about. Revenue. Reminds me of the time I nearly fell out of a car at Green Goss. I was only young, mind. We're not like I'd fall out now. Lucky if I've been one now. for you to learn the error of your ways. Both camps cleared. Adam Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Revelio. Lumos.
Confringo! Revelio. Lumos. Shame I didn't have an audience for that one. Rebellion. Revelio. right out of a storybook. Oh, I do miss the bustle of business. Poor customers, afraid to venture out. I do miss the bustle of business. Oh, I do miss the bustle of business. Hello, Madam Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You? cleared them out. How? I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? What are you looking for exactly? Thank you. Sincerely. Thank you for passing through. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Rebellion. 